Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, so C server finally getting some cool updates this week. I am honestly very excited, very hyped for Awaken Shinja. I think a lot of you guys have been waiting for her for the longest time ever. So let's talk about it in these patch notes for this coming week. Now, if you guys are not aware, plenty of cool things coming to C server number one. Uh, you can see an event episode, Proof of Heart, Event Missions and Shop Unlocked. So we're going to have a new event. Apparently this is like, a lot of people have been saying that Shinja is going to come with a new event. Apparently this is it. Uh, we're going to have Side Story Sigma, Left Behind Alone is Back. So complete the hard mode to get unit data, ATAC 130 Gunship. Okay, so first we have Tarask, uh, sorry not Tarask, Estak that you can farm. Now we're going to have ATAC uh, added to the side story. So I'm glad I haven't used my... Some players, they use their shards uh, to basically buy like Thunderbolt ATC, but eventually they're adding it. I think it's pretty cool. So Mia and Kang Soyoung both are getting rearmed. So this is going to be huge. This is going to be extremely, extremely huge. I think both Mia and Kang Soyoung rearm is like super crucial. It's going to affect the meta a lot. Uh, I'm quite surprised both of them are happening at the same time. I would prefer if just one of them happens, but hey, We'll take a uh, Kang rearm for sure. I'm ready. Uh, in terms of me, I'm ready for both of them, right? So this rearm has been going to be impacting the meta in a in a very significant way, especially rearm Kang. So uh, not sure about rearm Mia. We're gonna have a look at that. But rearm Kang, man, everybody's gonna be running her for sure. All right. So new counter pass. We're gonna have Rafaela. All right. So Gabriel June's sister. So finally. Uh, She's coming, she's here, we already expected this. We're gonna have new classified, singularity Shinja, probability up. So alongside with contract mission uh, unlock, uh, we're gonna talk about this. And also replacer king and replacer queen, probability up. That's gonna be a tough one. Alongside with awaken Shinja, now you have R king and R queen. Ooh, if you're a new player, like you have to choose between these three, I think it's quite tough. Probably Shinja is still going to be much more flexible. Uh, operator for Replacer King and Olivia Park and then Nicole and Carlota will be added to the uh, Recruit On Demand, the standard banner. Same goes for Operator Momo. Now Dangerous Lab interior set, uh, added some Shinja update celebration and some basic training package ETC alongside with new Danger Close season. Okay, so let's talk about the patch overall. I think this is pretty cool stuff. A lot of cool things happening right here. Uh, but let's focus on the first thing, uh, Awaken Shinja. Alright, so Awaken Shinja, we need to talk about her because I think a lot of players are going to come and ask, hey, should I pull for Awaken Shinja? Where does she fit in the meta right now? So again, we're going to use brightworld.co, big shout out to them. So let's, have, let's first talk about the basic stuff. She's a supporter, Awaken Shinja, despite Shinja being a ranger, Awaken Shinja is a supporter. She's a 5 cost supporter, the second five, the second Awaken supporter that we'll have, besides Lee Jisoo, right? I don't really count her, but I guess if you count her as a supporter, sure. Right, so 5 cost supporter, but considering the amount of things you can do, it's going to be pretty insane. Let's look at the passive skill. So skill haste plus 4% to self and all allies. And you might be wondering, okay, it's only 4%. No, it's actually more than that. It's 4 plus 4, which is 8% if you level it up. All right. So the next basic attack after special skill damages the furthest target in the range, stuns the target, and seals skill for 5 seconds. And this includes max. So you can see she has a little bit of CC in her already. This is like something that you don't see often. All right. So the ability to stun. 5 second stun is not to be, uh, you know, trifle with. And I heard that this range can be quite short, so you gotta be careful of how you place her. So it's the furthest target in the range, but the range is not that far. So it doesn't hit like tower units all the way at the back. So something that you have to keep in mind, right? So duration of skill seal changed to 10 seconds. So the fact that you can stun someone and skill seal them for 10 seconds, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's like insane CC right there, alongside with giving everybody skill haste. Now special skill, so she will create a zone grants allies attack plus 40% and crit plus 300. So this is at the beginning, uh, you will get this much attack buff and stuff, but as time goes on, uh, like you can see, the effect decays over time to attack plus 10% and crit plus 150 over 30 seconds. So it slowly trickles down. So grants allies within the zone with a barrier as well at skill level 5. So you get barrier equal to 10% of HP 
which is cool for 10 seconds. Now, the ultimate skill is the only ability that heals. So far, the passive uh, seal skill gives skill haste, the special skill gives attack, give crit, but there's no healing yet. So the ultimate skill is where the healing uh, is being done, right? So it grants all allies with current special skills attack and crit increase effect for 12 seconds, and this cannot be cancelled, all right? So if special skill is not activated, only the minimum stats are granted. All right, so this is pretty cool. As you can see, she also recovers 30% of all units HP, but it doesn't include herself, so similar to how Evelyn works. So, so that she's not too broken. If she can heal herself, I think that's going to be quite OP. So you still need to summon another supporter to hopefully heal her if you want her to maintain in the battlefield. So if you look at all this kit, she is in a way like a glorified Young Harem. So Young Harem is still the meta until today, all right? So she is like the one day one character that you want to go for. Everybody have been saying, pull for Young Harem, pull for Young Harem, the best supporter in the game. So the fact that Awakened Shinja has a superior skill, uh, I would say superior in a certain extent. Young Harem has a better barrier, 30% HP, I believe, over 10% for hers, but it really depends on what we're talking about. And also Young Harem has a little bit of debuff, but I feel like in a lot of case, if you're just going for like buffs straight up, Awakened Shinja is going to be very strong. Now, where does she shine at? She shine in a lot of hard stages. Uh, inhibitor rate, she's going to be really, really good. All right, so for anywhere that you will need any sort of buffs, uh, any sort of rates, any sort of danger close, she's going to be quite strong. Uh, I believe danger close, uh, you will see some players use her. Of course, Young Harem and Skylay Field is still going to be the go-to because lower cost, but for her, 5 cost is not too bad actually. Uh, I thought she would be a 6 cost, but at 5 cost, I think she's definitely a very strong one. I do highly recommend most players to pull for her because she's very flexible. She can be used in both PvP and PvE, uh, except for maybe Awaken Nayubin sort of counter her to a certain extent because of the removal of the barrier thing. But other than that, yeah, I, I do think this is overall kind of cool. Awaken Shinja is something that I think a lot of players should look forward to. Now let's talk about the Rearm Kang in general. So Rearm Kang is still a 2 cost, alright? So she's still going to be a ranger soldier, but what has changed, right? What happened uh, when you rearm her? So number one, you can see uh, she basically, once you rearm, she can go up to uh, the skill level 10 and look at this. So this is where it changes a little bit. Notice at level 10, both her and the summon detect stealth units. So before this, she just summons a stronghold or a, a one stronghold, right? When she crash into someone and the car explode ETC, but Afterwards, now she can have the ability to detect stealth units at two costs, which is insane. I think uh, she's the best stealth detector right now. All right, if you are trying to counter Albion, like let's be honest, guys, Albion is one of the most annoying units, uh, a ship rather in the game, and people use Alex or some people use KC Bin maybe to try to detect stealth. But having Kang, suddenly meta has shifted a little bit. So she now have a special skill. So notice she calls in S support, inflict AOE damage on and around target blinds the affected target and seal skill for 5 seconds. So this is pretty cool, the ability to do this special skill. So decrease attack by 15% for 4 seconds after debuff. This applies to counters, so she has the ability to decrease counters attack by 15%. And the last skill is also another passive. So this one never changed, alright, increase surrounding soldiers damage resistance by 20% and attack by 20%. And it increased giving her more anti-counter damage. and additional anti-sniper or I think this one is moved down. So basically she gets HP instead. I think it's uh, pretty cool. So she gets to she gets to be a little bit tanky uh, in terms of that and she deals more damage to counters overall and leader skill. So let's have a look. So all ally soldiers crit increase by 400 for 8 seconds when deployed. So you can see now uh, if you are using Kang in the soldier team, she gives a lot of bonus for sure. So this 8 seconds is increased to 12 seconds because of the level 5 additional 2 and 2. So overall, quite a lot of things to note right there. Okay, so Rafaela uh, is a bit complicated. She's a 3 cost tower unit similar to Gabriel June, but now she's a little bit different. Alright, she's like a stronger Gabriel June in a way. She does AoE damage to enemy and she has this thing called the moods, right? In Chaser mood, she will deal AoE damage. So let's talk about what, what this mood is. So deploys 4 meter in front and defends the surroundings. In Watcher mode, damage taken limit is fixed to 4%. So she has this damage taken limit similar to a lot of uh, Awakened defenders. And she always faces to the right. So that means if there's an enemy behind at the left, she will not turn the other way. 
After 15 seconds, or if HP falls below 70%, she deals AoE damage to surrounding enemies and enters chaser mode. So notice, watcher mode, above 100%, uh, above 70% HP. Once she go below 70%, she becomes a chaser mode. Now, 4% damage ticket taken limit lasts for 10 seconds after watcher mode ends. Rafaela also gains attack plus 20% per enemy damage by chaser mode activation. So, pretty cool. In PvP, she's going to be quite solid. Of course, depends if Awaken Ayubin is there or not. Okay, let's have a look at the special skill. So jumps high, swings a spear. Alright, so attack speed minus 25% to damage enemies for 8 seconds. Now can only be used in chaser mode. And cooldown is decreased by 4 seconds when chaser mode is activated. So passive skills attack buff not active, she gains attack plus 10% per enemy. Up to 50%. So more enemy, the more she gets uh, stronger. And the last skill is the ultimate skill. So jumps and strikes to the ground with her spear. Dealing AoE damage and gains range damage resistance plus 20% for 12 seconds. So can only be used in chaser mode. When chaser mode is activated for the first time, ultimate skill is charged by 50%. Okay, so this is pretty cool, right? Uh, she has this ability, buff effect changes to range damage resistance plus 40% and grants nearby allies with half the effect. So if you are running like a full tower team, right? Alongside with tower Xiaolin, I think she's going to be pretty solid. If you are running like a cam like defense team, if that's what you are trying to lean towards, then yes, I think she's going to be quite solid. But personally, I feel like, again, she's going to be like a strictly a PvP unit. If you play PvP a lot, sure, get Rafaela. If you don't play PvP, I think she's similar to uh, Addict Twins where maybe you get some niche usage in a PvE once in a while, but I don't see her like excel particularly in any mood in general. So let's go on the last one, which is the so best Rimmer Mia for cost. So again, I think Mia is going to be decent. She's just slightly upgraded. All right, so she's not super insanely strong or broken. So what she does in the passive skill, she gets barrier equal to 1% of max HP if she gets any potential buff, which is pretty cool. All right, so special skill, you can see uh, she stuns enemies in 7 meter for 3 seconds and launches powerful knockback. And the special skill also changes to Sure Fire. So what is a Sure Fire, you might be wondering. So Sure Fire is something that can counter perfect evasion. Alright, so because it will always, it's like a, it will always hit. It will never be evaded. So no matter how much uh, evasion the enemy has. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it counters perfect evasion. Correct me if I'm wrong. Awaken Amy is the only character that has that. So I think uh, Ria Mia is the second character to have this particular thing. And last but not least, the ultimate skill. The ultimate skill is what makes her really, really annoying. Uh, it now reduces cooldown even. And as far as I know, it, there's no there's no changes to it. It just adds more damage along the way up to, you know, up to level 9 and then more skill cooldown at level 10. So overall, I think quite a lot of things happening in C server for sure uh, with the Shinja new event alongside with the you know, new operator, replacer, king, replacer, queen, if you want to pull for them. But I think, no matter what, I think if you're a new player, you want to get Awakened Shinja. There's no way to get anyone else. So please, focus on Awakened Shinja. I think that's the only character that, uh, you know, you should be pulling for. Uh, I'm going to go all in for sure as well tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be streaming most likely that. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. This is going to be... I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this to my second channel or not. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Have a nice day. Goodbye.